I have a 90 pound compound bow that shoots 520 grain arrows at 300 feet per second. It's truly amazing to see a deer driving a cyber truck, and it won't be pierced by arrows or even bullets, making hunting quite dull. Just kidding. What we mean is the recent arrow test with Joe Rogan's 520 grain arrows aimed at the Cybertruck. An impromptu test leaked on the podcast, along with revelations about performance and weight by Elon Musk. What is Elon Musk's intention in disclosing new details during this delicate period? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Elon Musk has recently set a goal of producing 200,000 or more Cybertrucks per year. With over 2 million pre-orders, Tesla is sure to operate with extreme productivity and efficiency to deliver as soon as possible. What's your reservation number? Please check your email and let us know so we can discuss the estimated delivery time of your Cybertruck. Returning to Joe Rogan and Elon Musk, a spontaneous test took place. Perhaps you think this is a ridiculous trick or advertisement for this pickup truck, but this is a completely random experiment and there's no prior arrangement or planning by the manufacturer. Everything happened by chance when Elon Musk drove the Cybertruck to the location for his latest appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. In the wake of the Al Capone test not long ago, Elon Musk spoke about the test, and Joe Rogan questioned whether the Cybertruck would be able to withstand this arrow. Elon Musk did not hesitate for a moment, and he accepted the request or bet $1 if the arrow penetrated the cockpit. The test was performed immediately after the recording session. According to Rogan, he used a 90-pound compound bow with a 520-grain arrow, which he estimated to be traveling at a speed of 300 feet per second to test the body of the Cybertruck. This arrow is designed for maximum penetration and maximum damage with a razor-sharp broadhead tip. When this test was posted, we can be sure that you would have already known the result, as even a bullet from a Tommy gun only caused a few minor marks. So an arrow seemed just like throwing a straw against the wind. In this test, the result was that the arrow's tip broke off and the arrow itself exploded upon impact, leaving only a small scratch on the Cybertruck's body. Elon Musk even casually stood behind to enjoy a cigar before approaching to inspect the aftermath. He noted that compared to a regular car, it would have penetrated instantly. This experiment was not intended to prove anything horrifying. It can be simply understood as a test to assess the durability of the stainless steel panels, as many people have expressed doubts about this material since it was first announced. Many comments responded by saying that these tests are always hidden and not transparent when only the work appears instead of the execution process. Elon Musk revealed that Tesla will show an interesting video at the November 30th handover event, which recorded the scene of emptying the magazine of a Tommy gun with about 50 rounds as well as firing a 45mm pistol and 9mm gun on the side of Cybertruck. Regarding the glasses, Musk pointed out that the Cybertruck's windows don't have the bulletproof capability to allow them to go up and down. If they were to be steel-clad, they'd be too thick and need modification. However, he suggested that the windows could be optionally bulletproof. There are some speculations about the type of glass that will be used for Cybertruck, and if the options available, it might be a specific type of bulletproof glass or the latest modern dual-pane soundproof glass. Exceeding 10,000 pounds is something that we easily hear and see when researching the original weight of the Cybertruck. If you take a quick look at its rugged design combined with a 30x stainless steel, even we can have an unprofessional perspective. However, the actual weight of this pickup truck was recently mentioned by Elon Musk in a recording with Joe Rogan. Why is the weight of the Cybertruck appealing despite its rugged appearance? According to the VIN decoder information that was once available on NHTSA's website, it revealed the configuration and a total weight of up to 10,000 pounds for the all-electric pickup truck. In addition to the confirmed information that places the Cybertruck in the same classification as the Tesla Semi and has two main variants, the dual-motor and tri-motor, the VIN numbers also indicate that the Cybertruck 
will have a gross vehicle weight rating ranging from 8,001 pounds to 9,000 pounds. Designated by G, while another variant will have a global vehicle weight rating designated by H, allowing for a total weight from 9,001 to 10,000 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating, or GVWR, is the total weight with the full complement of passengers and cargo on board, rather than the initial weight of the pickup truck. Based on the type of materials, the motor and the battery pack, we had previously estimated it to be about 7,000 to 7,500 pounds. In reality, the Cybertruck has significantly reduced weight, partly thanks to a cutting-edge technology we're aware of, the 9,000-ton Gigapress, a state-of-the-art technology led by Tesla. It's fortunate that it aligns with the figures we analyzed in the previous video, and it's further validated in the Joe Rogan podcast. About, I don't know, 7,000 pounds. Whoa. Six th there's different versions, but six, six, seven thousand pounds. It's, 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 it's like similar to, like it's a heavy truck. Like a Ford F-250 or something like that. Yeah. Elon Musk also mentioned the weight and confirmed that the estimates so far are accurate putting the weight of Cybertruck in the range of 6,000 to 7,000 pounds, depending on the configuration. If we follow Musk's statement, we can hypothesize that the dual motor version will fall in the range of 6,000 to 6,500 pounds, and the tri-motor version will be in the range of 7,000 to 7,500 pounds. These are average weight levels for a pickup truck and are even more appealing compared to its competitors. To put it in perspective, the F-150 Lightning has a weight rating of up to 6,500 pounds depending on the model. The Rivian R1T goes up to 7,148 pounds, and the Hummer EV tops them all at 9,063 pounds. If the Cybertruck dual motor version indeed has a weight ranging from 6,000 to 6,500 pounds, then it'll be a game changer with a payload capacity of around 3,500 pounds. The Cybertruck's appearance is often evaluated as excessively large and imposing, or giving a challenging driving impression. However, when we compare it to the Rivian R1T, it's not significantly larger, and it's even shorter in height. Besides the weight aspect, the bottom of the Cybertruck is entirely flat and will have the most noticeable ground clearance compared to any other vehicle. How did Elon Musk shockingly reveal the performance of the Cybertruck? We were quite surprised when Elon revealed a lot about the Cybertruck in this podcast instead of keeping the information under wraps until the official launch. Perhaps this is a way to keep customers engaged and continuously curious about this futuristic vehicle. For example, just when you're about to give up on getting any updates from the Cybertruck, Elon drops a tidbit of information, and it continues like that from now until the end of the month. We're aiming to get the 0 to 60 below 3 seconds. Below 3? Yes. Wow. For the, you know, the beast mode version. So we've got a beast mode version. That's Specifically, Elon hinted at a beast mode version when asked about performance related to Cybertruck. And he shared that the company is targeting a 0 to 60 mile an hour speed in under 3 seconds. This aligns with what the manufacturer has previously suggested for the tri-motor version with an acceleration time of 2.9 seconds. It's highly likely that this is the Plaid version of the Cybertruck, a vehicle that Musk mentioned back in 2022 and was leaked by an owner who stated it has three motors like the Model X. If Tesla's engineers can achieve the target time, it would make the heavy-duty Cybertruck production faster and in greater numbers for this version. The Cybertruck is certainly expected to use the 4680 battery pack, which could provide an impressive range, but this depends on the motor and weight. A 500-mile range might be challenging, but a range of around 410 to 450 miles is entirely feasible, especially if it's the long-range version. As for towing capacity, it might not be extensive, but it's expected to be around 13,000 pounds. Recently, Cybertruck was spotted towing a Model Y, which weighs around 4,500 pounds, so the towing scenario within the configuration doesn't seem to be too difficult a task for the Cybertruck. Earlier this month, there was a sighting of the Cybertruck towing the SpaceX Starship Raptor, which weighs around 3,500 pounds at the Starbase in Texas. Last month, a viewer also spotted the Cybertruck towing a 24-foot-long trailer on a California highway. Therefore, the towing capability of this pickup truck cannot be definitively concluded until November 30th. It seems that Tesla is actively testing and demonstrating the Cybertruck's capabilities in various towing scenarios. 
Jim Cramer's suggestion of a $100,000 price tag for the Cybertruck does seem relatively high compared to the current pickup truck market. These vehicles were initially priced at $49,990 and $69,990 four years ago before their launch. Even accounting for inflation, these trucks are not expected to reach a $100,000 price point. They should fall in the range of $60,000 to $90,000 at most, and this price range can be influenced by various factors like market conditions, feature updates, and modifications since 2019. The final pricing will depend on Tesla's strategy and how they position the Cybertruck in the market. Why does Cybertruck's off-road capabilities seem limitless? Crab driving is an off-road driving technique in which a vehicle is steered diagonally or sideways to the direction of travel. This technique is used to help vehicles navigate challenging terrains such as slippery surfaces, rocky paths, or complex terrain. It primarily relies on the rear wheels to perform these maneuvers. It can be particularly useful in off-road and all-terrain situations to improve a vehicle's ability to overcome obstacles and navigate difficult terrain. Tesla had previously introduced the rear-wheel steering system for the Cybertruck, but we rarely saw it demonstrated in action. It's great to see that in a recent video filmed by Joe Techmeyer at the Austin, Texas factory this week, it shows the company testing this feature with an interesting driving maneuver. It's always exciting to see these technologies in action and how they can enhance the vehicle's capabilities. Elon Musk first announced that the Cybertruck would have a rear wheel steering feature back in 2021, which allows all four wheels to move when turning the steering wheel. Although the rear wheels don't turn at the same angle as the front wheels, they synchronize their movement either in the same direction or opposite direction, enhancing the vehicle's maneuverability at both low and high speeds. This feature can improve the Cybertruck's agility and handling in various driving conditions. We can see a Cybertruck driving along what appears to be a path that needs realignment. Clearly, that's not the case, and instead, the driver is testing the crab driving mode, causing it to move at an angle. In this instance, the driver is testing the crab steering technique by using the rear wheel steering system to move forward while the vehicle is at high speed. If you pay close attention, you can notice that the rear wheels are at a slight angle, causing the vehicle to have a forward-leaning posture. This demonstrates how the rear wheel steering system can enhance the vehicle's agility and maneuverability. For many Cybertruck owners, this feature may be used more as a fun novelty to show off to friends and family. However, for others who use Cybertruck for off-roading and challenging terrain, this feature can be particularly useful. It can easily handle tight turning radius situations and can be beneficial when navigating slippery or uneven terrain. In summary, the random experiment with Joe Rogan's crossbow had no relation to any pre-launch advertising campaign. This has sparked curiosity and excitement around exploring more about the Cybertruck, a promising product from Tesla. Compared to Al Capone, the experiment with Joe Rogan reveals a much less ruthless nature. But from now to the end of the month, there may be more info and experiments disclosed about this pickup truck, helping us gain a better understanding of its capabilities and features. Another piece of good news for those who are always curious about the original weight of the Cybertruck is the info recently revealed by Elon Musk. With an expected weight of 6,000 to 7,000 pounds, the Cybertruck will serve as a testament to the performance of the 9,000-ton Gigapress technology, in contrast to previous rumors that suggest that a weight exceeding 10,000 pounds. This weight will directly impact the performance and load-carrying capacity of the vehicle, and its average weight is positive news. With the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, the Plaid version of the Cybertruck promises to be an impressive choice. However, this still requires time for verification and confirmation. In conclusion, the Cybertruck is becoming an excellent option for clean transportation and will bring joy to those interested in new technology and impressive acceleration performance. Although the price of the Cybertruck is still kept confidential by Tesla, it'll soon be made public before the delivery date. You can be confident that it'll be a reasonable price, as Elon Musk has hinted at the not-so-sweet cost of the F-150. This is a basis for us to believe that the price of this pickup truck will be lower than previous speculations. Once again, the Cybertruck will be a game-changer and create many powerful waves in the upcoming December. At this time, all of our suspicions and questions will be quickly resolved. The first customers of this pickup truck will surely reveal many exciting details, so stay tuned. So, 
What kind of test are you looking forward to seeing with a Cybertruck in the near future? And what do you think would be a reasonable price range for the Cybertruck to align with the US economy and current consumer demand? We appreciate your thoughts. We hope you have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.